In today's video, we are going to create a simple server client program. And we will see how we can establish a connection between our server and a client computer using what we have learned about sockets in the last video. We need to know first a few things about the server. The first thing that we need to know is that the server has a bind method, which binds to a specific IP and port, so it can listen to incoming requests. Second, the server has the listen method, and the listen method puts the server into a listen mode, which allows the server to listen to incoming connections. Last, we have accept and close methods. Accept method, it initiates a connection with the client, while the close method closes the connection with the client. Now, let me show you this practically with the code. Okay. I have in my folder two files, one called server.py and the other is client.py. Um, first, we're going to work with the server.py. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to import socket. And we want to create a socket object. And we want to print a statement saying that the socket successfully created. Okay, now we want to reserve a port on your computer. In our case, it can be anything. So we will have a variable called port and um, let's just say 56789. Next, we want to bind the port. So we'll take the socket object and we'll get our bind method. And inside the bind method, we have a tuple. Inside that tuple, we have an empty string and the port. The bind method takes actually two parameters, as you see, the IP and the port. For the IP here, we will leave it empty, so the server can listen to other requests from other computers on the network. And for the port, it will return the port that we have predefined here. Okay. Next, we want to get also a message saying that the socket binded to port and we will return the port. Okay, so far so good. Now we want to put the socket into a listening mode. And again, we will take the S, uh, which is the socket object. And we will access this method called listen, like that. And inside here, I will put number five. Five means that we have five connections, which is the limit for our server to listen to. And if a sixth connection tries to connect, then the connection will be refused. And I will print a statement saying that the socket is listening. Okay, great. And now I want to create a forever loop, a while loop, while true, until we interrupt the connection or an error occurs. So we'll say while true. And here I want my connection which will be just C letter and also the address will be equal to S, which is the socket object dot accept. All right. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to print a message saying that we have got the connection from and we want to return the address, whatever the address will be. So simply we'll say print got like that and now we want to send a thank you message to the client for connecting with us so we'll store that in a variable called message and we'll say okay and we'll take our connection and we want to send that but Sending is not in the form of a string because the message is stored in a form of string. Send sends uh, in form of bytes. So we need a special method called encode. We want to call encode method to convert the string into bytes. How we can do that? Well, it's very simple. We'll take a message. 
dot encode encode like that and the last thing we need to do is we want to close the connection now we need to interact with the server so we will use telnet which is a great way for developers and administrators in general to check the connectivity on the network so we will run this file first we'll say python server.py and as you see here the socket is listening for any connections to come from any client computer to do that we will open another terminal we'll bring the window over here now zoom in a little bit so this is our server and here is our client and if we'll use the telnet command telnet localhost and the port or the port of um, the server is 56789 and let's take a look to what will happen when we'll hit enter so you see um, connecting to the server then thank you for connecting it's the message that we got from the server and connection to host lost but we got on the server side that we got a connection from the client which is uh, running on this IP because this is the IP of the local host and this port 65080 okay great now let's shut this window and let's keep our server running and now let's go ahead to our client file so we will import our socket module as always and we'll create our socket object okay then we will define the port on which uh, we want to connect and the port of the server is 56789 so again port will be equal to 56789 now we want to connect to the server on the local computer with the local host IP so uh, we will take the S object connect again a tuple inside here our IP and the port which is predefined then we want to receive the data from the server so I uh, will say print the S object which is the socket dot RECV and inside here 1024 which is the buffer size and we will close the connection okay so now let me open um, the client so we'll open with bash and don't forget that we have our server running and this is the client and we'll say python client.py and there you go thank you for connecting this is the message that we got from the server and here we got got connection from 127.0.0.1 with a different port 65.109 which is this um, client computer machine here and if we will create another client and another client and every time we will have a different port all right so there you go a simple way to check the connectivity between the server and a client machine i hope you liked the video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next videos